What's up everyone? This is Gabby Trades here and welcome back to the Coin Bureau Trading Channel. Today I'm going to show you the tools that I'm using on my trading view charts. It was a highly requested video actually from you guys because you don't understand the tools that I'm using. So that's what we're going to look at today. But before we dive in, don't forget to smash that like button. As usual, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Welcome and click the small bell notification so you always get notified when either me, Aaron or Dan are on the channel here with you, giving you the latest crypto alpha all right so uh we're gonna jump straight into it okay so the indicators that i'm referring to you can actually find them in the description box i was lucky enough to develop them with lux algo um so it's it's called the liquid edge pro suit that i'm specifically using you can purchase them on a monthly basis whatever or yearly basis it's just it's a very very tiny fee to it but anyway so the indicators are the sweep signals and then you have the liquidity and you have the fair value gaps, order blocks, and breaker blocks. All right, so um, I'm going to give you an example of how I use this tool. So we're going to start with the fair value gaps, order blocks, and breaker blocks. So um, what is a fair value gap, first of all, right? So we discussed that in the previous video that I did for you, uh, within uh, the strategy video that I did for you guys. But again, I'm going to say it. So it's a very impulse move. So it's basically a three candle formation in which the middle candle has been very impulsive and it, it has pretty much no wicks in between the first and the third candle. So that is going to mean that this is our fair value gap over here. So I used to mark these ones manually, but with the help of the indicators, I can just get them marked on the chart immediately. So with the order blocks and uh, breaker blocks, what does that mean? Well, basically, if you have an impulsive move to the downside that breaks previous structure, that is going to mean that you're not now interested in the last bullish candle in case the move was bearish. And then in the bullish scenario, you, you are going to be looking at the last bullish candle that broke structure to the upside. So when you put the indicator on, you can see all of these areas that are of interest to you, depending on the time frame that you set um, the order blocks to be at so for example i have mine on a daily time frame but if i like go around time frames they're still going to show me the daily areas that i'm interested in so for example right i'm going to show you an example of an area a big cell area that i was interested in from which i caught a short on tab bit over here so uh the short is doing pretty well actually i already closed like uh 320 dollars in profit and i still have like 590 running so uh, this is just to illustrate to you how i utilize the indicators for example in that case um, so here we have a massive, we had a massive bearish order block, and then I combined that also with the other indicators to get that entry, but we're going to get into that. All right, cool. So that's, that's pretty much a, a first example that I wanted to give you a quick explanation as well. Um, I know that the chart is busy with other stuff, but we're just focusing on the fair value gaps and on the um, order blocks. And I just want to illustrate you the previous price action so you guys understand how these areas are very, very important. And one thing that makes the, the areas even more valid is when you have a buy zone or when you have a sell zone in combination with a fair value gap. So that is going to mean, for an example, we're looking at this area over here. You see how price nicely bounced from it. So usually what I tend to do is I tend to mark these areas as a buy zone so this is what you see when i uh when i chart right i say okay this is my buy zone and over here at the time of the price action there was a fair value gap over here you can see it it is not marked right now because the indicator is going to show you only the ones that are most relevant uh, currently but this one has already played out so there was a fair value gap within these three candles and there was also a buy um order block so as you can see the buy from here was very very nice now uh with the current price action we can see that price has left more sell zones um so yeah that is how you pretty much use uh, these order blocks and breaker blocks it is really really simple you guys i have a more in-depth video on that also on my main channel which you can find in the description box as well so this is going to be very brief i have a more in-depth one on my main youtube channel you guys all right, cool. Um, so that's that. We're going to now look into the sweep signals. So the sweep signals work on a four hour time frame mainly, right? So on a four hour time frame. 
So literally like minutes before I started recording this video, uh, the four hour um, sweep signals are going to give you usually a current target. So earlier when I was just planning to start this video, the target was this low over here. Now let's see for Ethereum if we can actually still see the target to the downside. Or is it? Oh yeah. Okay. So for ETH, you can still see it right down here. Let's clear the chart a little bit more. Over here. Hold on like that. So this is what you would usually see. So that's that's an indicator that is going to show you where is price currently drawn to. So in that case, the four hour uh, time frame is going to show you that Ethereum still would like to come down and take the low at 3822 at the time I'm filming this video. Now, this is based on uh, on a very basic strategy that utilizes the fractal candle. So as you can see, some candles have uh, this little triangle at the top or at the bottom. That essentially means a fractal candle. A fractal candle formation, just for quick explanation, is usually a five candle formation on a, on a lower time frame. So for example, if you're looking at the four hour and if you turn around and you look at the 30 minute time frame, you are going to see a five candle formation at very each fractal low or fractal high, for example, for this low that was created with five candles and they look something like that. You would have two candles with uh, higher highs over here or higher lows in that case, and then you would have two more. So essentially the formation is going to look like that and this is what is going to make this a fractal candle. So usually fractal candles like that tend to be a draw on liquidity within the current price action, in that case, the four hour time frame. So this indicator is going to utilize when a fractal high or low has been taken, and then it's going to consider the subsequent close of the four hour candle. In that case, uh, that was probably bearish over here. You can see it now probably is actually pretty much happened. So over here you have a sweep of the fractal low, and then you have a bearish close after that, which means that price is going to target the following um, fractal candle. In that case, it was within the current price action that occurred. And if that wasn't the case, usually price is going to, price was previously targeting this low right? But when price is strong, it tends to develop fractal candles as it is trading. So now that is not only showing us that this is the target to the downside, instead of all the way down here. But it's also showing us that price is starting to regain some sort of strength. Some so all of this are uh, very important data for us to consider. So that's why I really love this indicator. And it's giving me a very quick orientation bias related in terms of price action if I'm trading, let's say the 15 minute time frame. All right, so that's with the sweep signals. Now, my favorite one, actually, I love all of them, but I really, really like the liquidity indicator. So the liquidity indicator is basically going to show you formations of weak highs and weak lows. And that is just such an amazing extra confirmation of when, you know, price is dropping to the downside, but it leaves liquidity to the upside. So for you to know, okay, this is a very, very strong draw on liquidity. And usually, by the way, if you go ahead and look at the liquidations area, this indicator is going to actually be so precise in where the massive liquidations areas sit on the chart. So I don't even need to look at um, the heat maps anymore. Um, all right. So basically, how is this formed? Well, uh, it's a triangular formation where um, uh, the low was a higher low, for example, in um, in the up scenario. And then that makes uh, this a weak high. Now, why is this a weak high? Where well, we're going to look at it a little bit more in depth. So basically, this low was responsible for this high. And then once we had this high responsible for this low, this low didn't take the previous low. So that now automatically makes this high a weak high. You're going to see the same example to the downside and you're going to always see how these areas are targeted like um, almost immediately. And when they're not, 
such as for Ethereum, for example, we're seeing that around 5,000, that's a liquidity that's left behind. It is a very, very good signal. Now, uh, something that's very, very cool is that you can see these indicators working on a higher time frame as well, right? So like very, very higher time frame. So let's say I want to give you an example of a double formation liquidity, which I know AVAX has, uh, which is very exciting. You can also see it on, for example, on uh, Polkadot, like on DOT, there is a high time frame double liquidity formation. So for example, when you see the double liquidity formation like this, what happens mostly than not is that price tend to come and pick one side, right? Price is picking one side of the liquidity, whether the upside or the downside. In that case, price decided to come and sweep the lower liquidity. And now this is a confirmation to some extent. Of course, price can just come down and retest that area many times that price is going to bounce back and come to seek the liquidity at around 65.7 levels for AVAX. So that is pretty cool because you can see it on a higher time frame and on a lower time frame as well. But one thing that I really, really love about the liquidity indicator is that it's going to give you areas of support and resistance, which are very, very important. So, for example, when these formations happen, right, let's clear this chart a little bit. When these formations happen, price is going to leave support and resistance areas. So when you see on my chart that I have levels like that marked, what I tend to do is mark them on a daily time frame using the liquidity indicator, mark them on a weekly time frame, always a high time frame. If I'm looking for an overall, let's say weekly bias, monthly bias, or whatever. So these support and resistance areas are going to be extremely important for me. So over here, for example, we can see that we had one on the weekly time frame. So what I tend to do is I usually mark them like that. And I know that this area is highly likely to be a holding area, right for price. Same thing applies for, for example, for up here, when we have this liquidity uh, formation, and now this turned into support slash resistance area for us for continuation buys, and then the colors of the um, of these lines are going to show you uh, the scenarios as well. Uh, let's not focus on the colors too much. You just need to focus on the areas. And as you can see here, I had an entry on AVAX that was pretty much super sniper because I was looking for a retest of the most recent liquidity, not one that was left months ago. They're equally important, by the way, whether they're from five months ago or whether they're from five weeks ago. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. But then this is what I was looking at. I was looking at for price to break this liquidity and then to retest it nicely so I can enter into a long position over here. All right, so these are pretty much the three indicators that I wanted to show you guys. And again, most importantly, you can find them in the description box. And like I said, make sure to check Tabbit as well. They have amazing bonuses for up, up to $32,200 in bonuses. Of course, CoinBureau is getting the best deals for you guys. So make sure to check in the description box. Also, please like this video if you haven't done already. And I will see you guys in the next one.